This ProFace Anchor tutorial will discuss the features of the Anchor Layout tab. Click on the Anchor Layout tab to input parameters for the anchors that will be used in your application. When ProFace Anchor is open, it defaults to a four anchor pattern. The anchors are spaced at 10 inches in the X direction and 10 inches in the Y direction. To modify a value for spacing, click on the parameter of interest, input a value, and then click Enter to save. Profus Anchor users can select a variety of standard anchor layout configurations via the drop-down on the left-hand side of the Anchor Layout tab. Standard anchor layout configurations range from a minimum of one anchor to a maximum of 16 anchors laid out on a 4x4 matrix. Standard anchor layout configurations include both slotted and unslotted holes. To select a standard anchor configuration, highlight it, then left-click. The configuration will be shown on the main screen. Once you've selected an anchor configuration, adjust the spacing values to correspond to your application. You can also adjust the base plate dimensions once your anchor dimensions have been input. A note about the correlation between the anchor spacing and the distance of the anchor to the edge of the base plate. Each time the anchor spacing is adjusted, the distance between the center of the anchor to the edge of the base plate needs to be taken into consideration. Profus Anchor calculates this distance using a parameter known as the anchor plate factor. To view the anchor plate factor or to make adjustments to it, Click on the wrench icon in the upper left portion of the main screen. Then click on Project Options. Scroll down to the box titled Anchor Plate Factor. The Anchor Plate Factor is multiplied by the diameter of the clearance hole in the base plate to give the distance from the center of the anchor to the edge of the base plate. The diameter of the clearance hole in the base plate is assumed to equal the anchor diameter plus 1 16th of an inch. Adjusting the anchor plate factor adjusts the assumed distance between the center of the anchor and the edge of the base plate. The default value for the anchor plate factor equals 1.5. The anchor plate factor may need to be modified when the anchor spacing is modified. Highlight and click on the box titled Asymmetric Position to reposition the anchor group on the base plate. You can reposition the group in both the X and the Y directions. Click on the box again to unhighlight it and the anchor group will be centered on the base plate. The orientation of the anchor pattern with respect to the X and the Y axis can be modified via the Rotate Clockwise or Rotate Counterclockwise options. Click on an option and the anchor configuration will be rotated in the corresponding direction. The base plate configuration may also then have to be modified to correspond to the new anchor orientation. To modify the base plate orientation, click on the box titled Customize Layout, then click on the box titled Anchor Plate Editor. Rotate the base plate so that its configuration corresponds to the configuration of the anchor layout. All of the cast in place anchors in the Profus Anchor portfolio 
as well as the adhesive anchor systems used with threaded rod and rebar can be installed at a variable embedment depth. Mechanical anchor systems such as the HDA, the Quick Cuss EZ, the HSL3, and the Quick Bolt TZ can only be installed at a fixed embedment depth. To input an anchor embedment depth, go to the box titled Embedment, then check the box titled Variable Embedment Depth. Input a value, then left click or click Enter to save the value. When using cast in place or adhesive anchor systems with Profus Anchor, the embedment depth can range between a minimum value of approximately 4 diameters to a maximum value of either 25 inches or 20 diameters depending on the anchor diameter. Mechanical anchor systems must be installed using a fixed embedment depth when using Profus Anchor. Refer to the evaluation service report for the mechanical anchor system to view the various fixed embedment depths that are available for that anchor. When designing with post installed anchors, the minimum anchor spacing and the minimum edge distance are derived from testing. These values will be given in the evaluation service report for each anchor and they're also included in the Profus Anchor database for that anchor. The evaluation service reports for Hilti HY150 Max, HY150 Max SD, and RE500 SD adhesive anchor systems contain provisions which permit the anchors to be installed at edge distances as close as 1.75 inches. Note that the 1.75 inch edge distance is less than the minimum edge distance values given in the design tables of these evaluation service reports. The minimum edge distance of 1.75 inches can only be used if the anchor is installed at a reduced installation torque. The evaluation service report for the HIT HY150 Max SD adhesive anchor system is ESR 3013. Table 6 in ESR 3013 provides minimum edge distance values for the various threaded rods that can be used with this adhesive anchor system. The minimum edge distance for a 1 inch diameter threaded rod is given as 5 inches. Part 4.1.9 in ESR 3013 permits the anchors to be installed at edge distances as close as 1.75 inches provided a reduced installation torque is used. I've input an edge distance equal to 2 inches. Note that this value is highlighted in red. Whenever a parameter is highlighted in red, it indicates that there's been a violation in the input criteria or that there are special conditions which need to be addressed. In order to proceed with calculations, the circumstances for which the parameter has been highlighted in red must be removed. Referring to the message pane, it indicates that an edge distance as close as 1.75 inches can be used if I acknowledge that a reduced installation torque is also required. To acknowledge use of a reduced installation torque and a corresponding reduced edge distance, go to the box titled Reduced Edge Distance, then check the box titled Reduced Installation Torque. Note that the 2 inch edge distance is no longer highlighted in red. This indicates my acknowledgement for the use of a 2 inch edge distance with a 1 inch diameter threaded rod with the HY150 Max SD adhesive anchor system provided that the anchor is installed using a reduced installation torque. Profus Anchor users can create customized anchor configurations by clicking on the box titled Customize Layout. The following screen appears. Let's say that I would like to create a custom anchor configuration consisting of eight anchors which are located around the perimeter of this rectangular base plate. 
I'll start by selecting a standard anchor configuration of 9 anchors. Next, I'd like to delete the anchor that's located in the center of the base plate. This corresponds to anchor number 5. To do this, I highlight and click on the box titled Delete Anchor. Then I place my cursor over anchor number 5, left click, and the anchor will be deleted. Now I'd like to reposition the anchors so that they're located around the perimeter of the base plate at a distance of 2 inches from the edge of the base plate in the Y direction and in the X direction. This box indicates the distance of anchor number 6 from the edge of the base plate in the X direction. This box indicates the position of anchor number 6 from the edge of the base plate in the Y direction. To move anchor number 6, I click on the box titled Move Anchor, and then I place my cursor over the anchor and move it to the approximate location on the base plate. If need be, I could finalize the position of the anchor using the anchor coordinates box. I can further adjust the anchor position by placing my cursor over the anchor and snapping the anchor to the grid location. This anchor corresponds to anchor number 4. These boxes indicate the spacing between anchors. This box indicates the offset distance in the Y direction between anchor number 4 and anchor number 5. This equals 0.5 inches in the Y direction. I can further position the anchors with respect to a specific position using the anchor coordinates box. I've gone ahead and repositioned all of the anchors except anchor number 4 and anchor number 5. Anchor number 4 and anchor number 5 are both located on the x-axis. I'd like to position anchor number 4 so that it's located 8 inches in the negative x direction and anchor number 5 so that it's located on the x-axis 8 inches in the positive x direction. To reposition anchor number 4, I highlight the x-coordinate for anchor number 4 and input a value of negative 8. To reposition anchor number 5, I highlight the y-coordinate for anchor number 5 and input a value of 0. Click Enter to save the values. The new position of the anchors will also be shown on the screen. To add an additional anchor or anchors, click on the box titled Add Anchor. The position of the anchor will be indicated by this clear circle. Locate the anchor at the desired location, then double click to set the location. You can continue to add as many anchors as desirable. I've added some additional anchors along the top of the base plate and along the bottom of the base plate. To change the orientation of these anchors, I can click on Rotate Clockwise or Rotate Counterclockwise. The orientation of the anchors will now be changed. Note also that the coordinates for the anchors as shown in the anchor coordinate box will also be changed. You can see that with this new anchor configuration, I need to modify my base plate configuration. To modify the base plate configuration, click on the box titled Anchor Plate Editor. You'll be switched over to the Customize Geometry option for anchor plates. I'd like to rotate this plate 90 degrees counterclockwise. To do so, I go to the box titled Rotation, then click on the option Rotate Counterclockwise. The anchor plate will now be positioned to correspond with the position of my anchors. You can create an anchor matrix by going to the box titled Layout Generation, then clicking on the box titled Matrix. Input the number of columns in the box titled Number of Columns, and input the width between columns in the box titled Width. Likewise, input the number of rows in the box titled Number of Rows, and input the distance between rows in the box titled Distance of Rows. Click OK to set the new anchor configuration. 
it'll be shown on the screen and likewise the coordinates for the anchors will be shown in the anchor coordinate box. You can create a circular anchor configuration by once again going to the box titled Layout Generation, then clicking on the box titled Circular. Input the number of anchors for your application and input the distance of the anchors from the center of the base plate. Click OK to set the new anchor configuration. You can also modify the base plate configuration by clicking on the box titled Anchor Plate Editor, then clicking on the circular base plate shape and inputting the desired diameter. Click OK to set the new base plate configuration. If the view of your construction becomes off-center, you can use the arrows as shown to reposition the construction. Likewise, you can go to the box titled View, then click on the box titled Center View. The view of the construction will be centered within the screen. The box titled Drawing Options allows you to show the grid on the screen and snap objects to the grid to facilitate construction. To show the grid on the screen, check the box titled Show Grid. The grid will be shown on your construction screen. Uncheck the box to remove the grid from your view. Checking the box titled Snap to Grid allows you to more easily position anchors during construction of a given configuration. This concludes the Profus Anchor tutorial on the Anchor Layout tab. If you would like to contact Tilty for additional information, click on the wrench icon in the upper left portion of the main screen. Click on Resources, then click on Contact Us. You'll be able to send an email to Hilti North America Technical Services.